guys think that this was going to be about the Samsung C-Flip? Unfortunately, it's not. To tell you guys the truth, I actually sent the phone back after having it for one week. And here are some of the main reasons why. Firstly, the battery life on the Samsung C-Flip was absolutely appalling. I would have it charged at 1% at the beginning of the day, rarely use it throughout the day and end up with 30% battery for some reason. So that was obviously not going to work because I wasn't even using it that much. Number two, so unlike my Note 10 Plus, this screen is curved and the other one is raised. So basically what that means is the sidebar that I have on here to pull my apps out was very difficult to get to. Number three, so I know this kind of goes against the reason why I bought the phone in the first place but the fact that I had to just flip open the phone every time I need to use it was just I don't know how these people are just flipping the phone out like that because it is really strong I tried it a few times and I could not flip it open with one hand I had to unravel it every single time and that got a bit tiring <laughs> after a few tries and number four, the last and the most important reason I made me send the phone back was because the phone was heating up like crazy. I would basically record a 10 second video and my phone would be super hot. Obviously with all the um, other phones that used to explode with Samsung, I got pretty damn scared. It was literally very hot to touch. So I swapped straight back to my Note 10 Plus box that one up and I refunded that one. So I actually bought a new phone. Again, it is still a Samsung one because I'm, I'm just a Samsung over Apple person. It's just so much easier for me to use and I use them for years. So which phone did I get? Today is going to be the unboxing of that phone. So let's get straight into it. Here is a change of scenery for you guys. I have my little box with my new phone in it. How do I open this? Oh, here we go. <gasps> Ta-da! I got the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. I am so excited, guys. Um, I can't open this, so just hold up and I'm going to get some scissors. Okay, so I've just unsealed it. But as you can see from the size of the box, it's pretty thin. So I'm guessing there isn't going to be a charger in this. Wow, that is a flat phone. <laughs> so let's just get this bad boy out of the box from this little lifty part. The size against my hand. My hands are tiny guys, like literally they're so small. And this phone feels really comfortable. Oh wow, that's huge. <laughs> I've actually never seen this phone in person before. Like I haven't been to the phone shop to actually try and hold this. I just bought it straight off the internet and I never realized it was such a large, what do you even call this, a ridge? And it's pretty sharp to be honest in terms of the, I don't know if that's just a sticker that I've gotten there, but it feels pretty rough. In comparison, this is the S21 Plus and this is my note 10 plus the height is exactly the same width wise the s21 is actually a little bit thinner and i could feel that straight up to be honest it was so much easier to hold this in this hand versus my note 10 in this hand weight wise this one is definitely heavier which i'm kind of sad about because i was expecting this to be a little bit lighter to be honest but I guess I'm not too bothered because I know the battery is going to be amazing on this. But yeah, let's do some peeling, shall we? I love this texture on the phone. It's a matte finish. I was so tempted to get the brown one, but because that was up to eight weeks wait for some reason, I thought I'm not waiting that long. and. I like the black anyway, so I decided to go all phantom. So let's peel the front.
I love how they've already got a screen protector pre-installed for the new phones these days because it just makes my life so much easier. So the last but not least to peel off is the camera sticker. That is a mammoth of a camera set right there. So many different lenses. I don't even know how I'm going to protect all them little screens. What are my first impressions? Honestly, I love the way it feels. Like the back is so smooth and it's non fingerprinty. Like, honestly, guys, that was one of my like, honestly, the things that annoyed me and stressed me out so much with my shiny Note 10 Plus was trying to keep it fingerprint free. Can you guys see? Like, and I usually have a case on this just because I didn't like the fingerprints. Another thing I'm gonna have to get used to is not having the S Pen at my fingertips at all times because honestly guys this is so handy um, with editing videos, editing photos and it's just hidden away like that seamlessly so this was a dream and that's why I'm keeping this phone and changing the other one instead. Whilst that loads I'm gonna go through what's in the box with you guys because Obviously it doesn't have a charger anymore, but it has this little pouch box thing, SIM card, pin opener, the startup guide, the warranty card, and also the USB-C cable. So I love getting these cables because I have so many actual adapters but not enough cables so there we go that's everything inside the box so if we just have a look at all the sides of the phone basically this is the front the left side has nothing on there on the bottom your sim card slots here on the left and i believe it's a dual sim slot so you can put two sim cards in there your charging port which is type c and then your speakers so on the right side of the phone you have your power button here and then the volume rocker with the up and down and then on the top you just have two more speaker holes on there that is basically the phone and then on the back you have five lenses i don't know the specs of phones so i'm not going to go into that because you guys can just search that up but let's see so the fan is now switched on and it is so bright guys like that screen is so vivid it's amazing oh my gosh this is so fast so this is how fast my current phone slides and this is the new one super super fast guys Ooh. So one thing that I've noticed is the phone screen looks a lot bigger in the S21 Plus because the border of the phone is actually black as well and it kind of just blends into the screen. So if you guys can see what I mean, like my Note 10 Plus has a silver border because the phone is obviously, you know, this prism colour and it makes the screen look a little bit smaller um, whereas this one kind of blends straight in. And the curve on the S21 is actually not as deep as the Note 10 so this one is definitely more rounded off um, it feels a lot smoother around the edge whereas this one kind of feels like it goes round and then straight down so that's a little bit different and you have obviously the main screen as usual and then you have your bottom quick access buttons here so the camera is obviously the main feature Hi. Honestly guys, I'm so excited to test this phone out for taking pictures and videos and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not going to heat up like crazy compared to the C Flip. But here it is guys, this is my unboxing of the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. So I hope you guys liked it. Leave some comments down below if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye!